Hey, good morning from Walla Walla, Washington. The sun hasn't come up yet, but you can see what you're doing. Hey, let's take a look real quick at this. Uh, I'm gonna do the, uh, take a look at the electric lead screw reverse switches on the Monarch MWE. But uh, here's my uh, drill press and I got it, uh, the head lowered down and I got a two-tone motor, see? Yeah, that's that's pretty slick. But I'm um, done with the paint in there. And I got stuff kind of covered up because uh, it could rain. I don't know. So let's get in here and have a quick look at the fabulous Monarch 10 E. This example here is a 1983-inch metric. And what we're going to look at, well, before I hook you onto the tripod, I'll show you a trick. Now, I got an analog VOM meter here and uh, um, the uh, digitals need not apply. And I'll show you why. Okay, <clears throat> here's the switches here. This is the forward switch. This is the reverse switch in uh, the electric lead screw uh, bracket. So the way this thing works, when it's in neutral, it's in neutral right now. It's hard to see that Earl, but it's in neutral and nothing happens. You can lock the machine out by putting it in neutral. Turn the machine on. If that's in neutral, the machine won't run. So you can lock people out with that. <laughs> I've done it many times. Okay, so we'll put that in right-hand threads, okay? Now, I'm gonna, this is the uh, apron lever, and it's got, uh, it's got three spur gears, okay? Now, here's the dog here, and I'm gonna move this lever and watch that dog. You see how much that lever moves before the dog moves? That much on that lever, okay? So you got a little bit of slop there and you have to contend with the slop in the system. And uh, okay, so there's three gears and it moves this rod, which comes over here and works those switches, see? Okay, now I'm going to get this uh, antique uh, volt ohm meter and I'm going to put it in uh, times one scale, if I can do it. Hold on, kind of stiff these, uh, there, okay, see I got it times one in ohms. Now I went across one switch here, that's the reverse switch because it's easy to get the uh, alligator clips on it, on like these two uh, poles, that's the forward switch, okay? So I just put the clips on, on there, okay? So, let's get the machine in neutral. And you can see it has a reading there. Now let's put it in forward. Whoop, I got the wrong uh, lever, okay. Get my hand on that. Okay, get it in neutral. Okay, I'll put it in forward. Okay, you see where the needle went? Back to neutral. Now to reverse. You see it didn't move as far in reverse. There's neutral. There's forward. Okay, so you can hook the switches up. You can go across the switch and you can detect all three positions, okay? That would be harder with a digital because it's gonna flash numbers. This you can see with the needle, okay? So you can uh, adjust this with the, without the machine powered up. Let's see if, uh, I hope I don't have glare on there. And you can see, I'll do it again. Okay, there's forward. Neutral, reverse. Three distinct places where that needle goes. Okay, get it back in neutral. Let's have a look at the mechanism here. 
Might have to move that light a little bit. Okay. Now, the dogs... We'll put this into uh, for, um, forward. Oh, I gotta move the, the carriage a little bit, I think. Or this. Let me see. Got yeah, stuff kind of tight here. I gotta move away. Okay, I think we're in forward there. Yeah? Yeah, we're clear. We're in forward. It's just not moving as far as I think it should. Okay, so what happens is um, when it hits the stop on the other side, and you can do it with the fork adjustment, it uh, um, returns um, the uh, spindle lever. Let's see if I got that right. Somehow something's not right here. Okay, that's preventing it from going that direction. And... Okay, that, that's where it should be. And I'll move this here. So, when the carriage travels over, and I'll travel it over, and it hits that dog, it lifts that lever up, see? And it went, and I didn't go far enough. And what you got to make sure, let's do that again. I don't have this lock, but it doesn't matter. It's in forward, it's going forward, and it's going to hit that dog, and it lifts that lever up. Okay? Now, what's really critical here, and it's not doing that, is, uh, let's try that again. And that's why I'm adjusting this. Because this is not a good situation when it does this. Okay, it's in forward. We're cutting a thread. The, tra the carriage is traveling. It lifts it up. Okay. Now what can happen is uh, the design of the fork keeps it from going back into forward again. But since it didn't go up to lock, which is this far, and see it's locked, and to unlock it, you have to pull the lever out. See, that's its safety. So it goes that far. And here's, here's the real problem with that. When you're done cutting threads, and you back the carriage off, and you don't know this, the, this from its own weight, it can fall into um, um, forward. So you got to make sure that um, the ELSR forks return that that uh, lever to for, uh, to neutral lock. So up here's reverse. That's neutral lock. To to move it to reverse, you have to pull this out. See, that's its safety. So if it's coming up and it doesn't go all the way to lock where that handle snaps in, uh, when you back the carriage away, it can fall into forward, and uh, you might not notice that, and uh, you can get injured. So you you got to make sure when you're using this device that it returns um, the switch to lock. Okay? All right. So it's... Um, really quite easy to adjust this and uh, it's really quite a simple mechanism now if um, if you turn the knob here to uh, left hand threads in normal operation and some people like it that way is uh, to go forward with the spindle you just lift it. You lift the lever, and that's forward. When it's in left hand, okay? So if you turn it over to uh, right hand, then forward is with moving the, the uh, spindle lever down, okay? <laughs> it's a, kind of a different deal. 
Now, the way this works, they call this electric lead screw reverse, but all it does is shut the spindle off with these stops and prevents you from going any further, lets you put it into uh, reverse, and then the, the carriage travels, see, picks that up and returns it to neutral. You've got one adjustment under here. It's a, it's a bolt and you'll have to adjust that in case the uh, for, in forward position that uh, it's not too low and the fork uh, will crash into the dog instead of lifting it up. So there's an adjustment for the travel um, total travel okay so it, it's something you, you just gotta fiddle around with and uh, just be aware that if you're using the device just make sure that it returns uh, the uh, spindle lever to forward okay so it's just real simple to adjust this way hook up to uh, the lower um, switch like that and then you can detect where where uh, the lever is and you can play around with it and get all that stuff adjusted okay I'll be back later I got some uh, machining to do with this machine I'll turn the camera on okay bye